<laughs> hey, this is Herbie Hancock, and you're in my studio, and we're going to talk about the ARP Odyssey. I've got a whole history with ARP Odyssey because it's the first synthesizer that I ever played, and it was from my record, Headhunters. This is the instrument that I first learned really about synthesizers for myself as a player. The thing about the Odyssey was that because it does have sliders and not just rotary knobs, you can easily make adjustments on the fly, in the moment. They're easy to get to. There's not a ton of them that are gonna confuse you. And you, you can modify the sound as, as you go along very, very easily. And look at the size of it. It's tiny. <laughs> and, and it comes in a really cool case too. I really like, like the case that it comes in. They didn't have that before. Also, the pitch band. When I first got my Odyssey, you know, back, this was 1973, it had a rotary dial, oh, D10. So you couldn't tell when you were actually on the pitch or not. There was no clear, there was a line written, written here, but, but nothing that you could put to your touch. One of my solos on Headhunters, I played this phrase, I'd been messing with the pitch band and doing things, and then I, I played this phrase that was supposed to be in pitch. It was a half step up. <laughs> so I repeated it and turned the dial to make it flatter, a half step down. And it's on the record like that. <laughs> because I have somewhat of an engineering background, a tiny bit. Uh, I wasn't afraid of synthesizers. But still, I didn't know how they work. But having, in, in this particular configuration that, you know, the Arp Odyssey is really famous for. It was very easy to begin to understand how, not just to make a sound, but how to modify sounds. The layout makes it very user-friendly for learning how synthesis works. One of the first things that I look for in the new Arp Odyssey is what's different about it, if anything, from the original. I looked at the back, and what did I see? MIDI. We didn't have that before. And that's great because now you can control external devices from this keyboard. So many young artists are looking for the legacy instruments. They weren't born when, when these first came out and they love the sound of the original instruments. And I'm, I'm sure they'll immediately gravitate to, to the new Art Odyssey que d'avoir tous les paramètres en accès direct sur la façade, sans preset, cela correspond totalement à mon style de musique.